What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing guys? Let's get into the news. The first and only story of the day is about the new gesture-like navigation of Android P, which would be the new operating system for Android that is released later this year, most likely August, September of this year, 2018. And it looks like uh, 95 Google is talking about what's going to be different and changed in this new release of Android. And uh, some of it's gesture based, some of it's what we're still used to. Now, let's talk about what we're still used to. So you will have like a uh, home button down here, but it's gonna be like just a line almost. It's not gonna be like a square or a circle. And then you'll also have a back button on the, I guess the left, cause that's, you know, the way Android P does it. So you'll have a back button and a home button, but again, the home button will look like more just like a line. The big difference with it now is that when you swipe up from like say where the home button is, um, it's gonna bring up your recent apps. The way they are now in Android O oh, and have been for years has been, you know, vertical. So all the way up, all the way down. Now they're gonna be horizontal. So they're gonna be the way that Apple does it. So you'll go left to right and you should be able to still close them all with one button. You should be able to flick them, I guess, up to either open it or close it, or I guess down to close it and then up to open it or vice versa, tap on it. So that's gonna be the new gesture-based part of the operating system. Again, when you swipe up directly from the home button, it'll bring up your recent apps. So they're getting rid of the recent apps button and then that'll be horizontal instead of vertical. I don't know if I like that. I guess, I mean, I'm not a totally against it. I don't use recent apps that much. Um, I do use it to go back and forth within an app, meaning, you know, I'm in an app. I'll just open up an app, I'll open up the Play Store and if I wanna double tap, that recent apps button, it opens up the last app that I was in. I use that quite a bit, but you know, is it gonna change my life hugely? Probably not. Um, it does feel, and the article made a good point of this, it does feel like Android is kinda in the middle. Are they doing gesture based? Are they doing, you know, still you tap on a button to navigate to whatever, you know, home or, or back button or that you wanna go to? Um, and it's kind of in the middle there. It's not fully Apple the way iPhone 10 does it. iPhone 10 is fairly gesture based. You know, you're flip flopping and doing all that kind of stuff. Whereas the new version of Android, Android P currently in its state that's been leaked out is that it's a little bit gesture, a little bit still, you know, tap, tap, tap. Um, this all could change because this is still in beta and it might change. You might go fully gesture based. It might get rid of the gesture based and keep what we're used to with the back button, the recent apps button and the home button. But we'll have to wait and see as this story does develop. I will talk about it more. I'll tell you guys what's going on. So rest assured, you're subscribed with the channel. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. You know what question's coming up to you guys. What do you think about this semi-gesture-based Android P system that will eventually, most likely, come to all Android phones that get Android P or whatever Android P ends up being called? So let me know. Like I said, I, I'm kind of in the middle. I definitely want to play around with it before I obviously give a full impression of it. I don't think it's the end of the world. I think it could turn into something, you know, a little bit more fluid based um, in terms of you not having to tap and just be able to swipe or do kind of some kind of gesture that gets you to that next step. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you down the road. Peace.